my name is Carly Snyder. I'm in Math 232, and today I'm going to be doing section 10.3 on the Pythagorean theorem. So to start, we're going to say, what is the Pythagorean theorem used for? The Pythagorean theorem is used to find the length of a missing side of a right triangle. For example, we have this right triangle right here. We know that it's a right triangle because it labels that it has a 90 degree angle. We see here that we have two values on these two sides and we're trying to find this value of the missing side. Okay, so the Pythagorean theorem has a certain formula. So, the formula for the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So right here we have labeled that a and b represent the legs and that c represents the hypotenuse. Notice everything is squared. Okay, so this is just an example to show you how the formula is used and where we get the numbers to plug into the formula. Right here we have a right triangle. We know that because of this. So this leg will be labeled as A. This leg would be labeled as B. And this slant is C which is the hypotenuse. All right, some important information to know about the Pythagorean theorem is the Pythagorean theorem can only be used on a right triangle. We noticed that in the last two examples. Um, also, the legs are always the sides adjacent, which means next to the 90 degree angles. Um, also, it does not matter which leg is A and which leg is B. You can plug each in so it doesn't really matter. Um, and C is always the hypotenuse which is always that slant. Okay so here's a first example. So what is the length of the hypotenuse in the triangle below? Right here it tells us again to plug in the value for each variable in the formula. All right, again, this just kind of reiterates what is the length of the hypotenuse in the triangle below. Right here we have the triangle, it's a right triangle. One leg is two, one leg is four. We're looking for the hypotenuse, okay? So again, we remember that our formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This would be a, this would be B, and this is C, okay? Here, we are gonna plug A in right here, and it's gonna be squared. We're gonna plug B, which is four, in right here, and it's gonna be squared. And we do not have a value for C yet, so we're just gonna label that H squared, because it's gonna be our hypotenuse. So, two squared is four, four squared is 16, equals H squared, okay? So right here we have 20 squared equals h squared. Okay. Now we have 20 squared equals h squared. When you get to that point and you still have the square, you have to take the square root. So give me one second, let me erase this stuff right here. Let me get all this off the board. Let me show you what to do there. Okay, so like I said, we made it to this point in the last slide right here. So we notice here that this is an h squared and this 20. To get this h alone, you have to take the square root. What you do to this side has to be done to this side. So we have the square root of 20 equals h. h standing alone is 4.47. So that would be our hypotenuse. For this example, next we're going to find the hypotenuse of the triangle below. Notice how they kind of switched it up here. This would now be the right angle. Okay, so we'll go here. All right, same thing. Pythagorean theorem formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're going to label this a, this, I'm sorry, not that. We're going to label this b, 
this C, okay? Plug it in, four squared plus six squared equals H squared. Four squared is 16, six squared is 36. That equals 52. 52 equals H squared. Like I said here, you have to go here. What's done on one side has to be done on the other. Square root of 52 equals H. Square root of 52 is 7.21. Okay. Let's see, let's get rid of all this. Okay. What is the length of the missing leg in the triangle below? Okay, so now we see that we already have the hypotenuse, or C. We have A. We are missing B, okay? Now we're going to kind of switch it up. All right, so let's just look here. We still know the formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember I said we had A, plug that in as 3 squared. We're missing B, so we label, we're going to label that as X squared. And we have C, which is 5 squared. So we have, we're going to start here, and it's going to be 3 squared equals 9 plus X squared equals 25. To get this x squared alone, you have to minus 9. We did that here. We're going to minus 9 right here. So we're going to bring down x squared. 25 minus 9 equals 16. We're going to have to square root this. What's done to one side is done to the other. The square root of 16 equals 4. And that is how you find the missing side. When you just have, when you already have C, that is how you find that. Okay. Alright. So, that is section 10.3 on the Pythagorean Theorem. Thank you.